That's all what I wanted to demonstrate you in terms of interaction with GitHub. And now let me show you how our git objects folder looks like. Let me enter command ls.git slash objects. Recap that we entered this command before and it had only two folders such as info and pack. And we entered this command before creation of the very first commit. And now when there are few commits in our repository, we see that there are a bunch of additional folders in the objects folder such as 48, 6C, 8A and so on. Notice that you might see completely different names of those folders. Let's list uh, contents of specific folder. For example, I list contents of this folder named CC, like that. And I see single file in this folder with such weird name. And basically, if I combine folder name and file name, I'll get SHA hash of specific git object, full SHA1 hash that is 40 hex characters long. And now I could use one of the git low level commands in order to read contents of a specific git object. Please recap that I told you before that git stores blobs, trees, annotated tags and commits as objects in this folder. And that's actually subfolders where all git objects are stored by git. So let me use now this low level command that is called git cut file. Git cut file. Next let's add option dash t that stands for type. Afterwards I'll type name of the folder, for example this one cc. And afterwards I'll copy name of this file in this folder. Please do exactly like I do. But uh, of course, in your case, this uh, SHA1 hash and this folder name will be different. But please copy file name like that, paste here immediately after folder name. And now there is complete SHA1 hash, 40 hex characters long. Let's press enter now and see what we will see as a result. And I see commit. And that means that this particular git object is actually git commit. You might see here blob or tree or commit. Now we could read actual contents of this particular git object. For that, please replace dash t option with dash p. Let me go to this command and replace dash t with dash p, like this. And now I see actual contents of specific commit object. And in my case, I found specific commit that is actually merge commit that was created when I merged feature one branch into the main branch. And that's why this particular commit has actually two parents. It points to two different other commits. Also notice that it points to specific tree. Tree represent folders in the git. And also if I take for example this particular SHA hash, I could also read contents of this particular tree object by using same command git cut dash file dash t. Let's first have a look at type of this object and it is tree. And now let's use dash p instead of dash t like this. And now I see contents of actual tree object. And it points to four different blobs. Blobs are files. And here are sha hashes of different files. And also here in this tree object I see corresponding file names like 1.txt, 2.txt, 3 and 4.txt. That's how you could read contents of actual git objects that are located in the .git hidden folder in the objects subfolder.